Let's say it's something that arises from deep inside me, this desire to draw. I guess drawing, and I mean expressing my art, is in my nature. Originally from Japan, Kikuo Morimoto studied and practiced the art of kimono painting for 15 years. The kimono is a traditional Japanese garment made of handmade and hand-decorated fabrics. I working in kimono in Kyoto, and I saw the many fabric, but I never saw that that, that this the confident the ikat textile never saw before. Variations of ikat, a textile art form, are found in cultures around the world. In this practice, bundles of thread are tightly bound and dyed. Once the dye process is complete, the thread is woven into cloth. In Cambodia, Ikat is at least as old as Angkor, the ancient capital of the Khmer dynasty, which reigned over 1,200 years ago. When I went to a museum in Thailand, there was Cambodian Ikat in the exhibit. When I saw it, I was very surprised by its detail, by its beauty. But above all, I felt the energy of the person who had made it. I couldn't forget that fabric. <laughs> and then, like, uh, I, come in, I come to the visit uh, Phnom Penh first time, 19 hall. And then I surprised the, still that time is the Civil War is not that finished. And in the city, in the town, some people they have the gun. This is my first uh, impression of the Cambodia. In the late 1960s, an era of war, genocide, and famine began in Cambodia that lasted for decades. During this time, many cultural sites were destroyed and traditions forcibly erased. By the time Mr. Morimoto learned of Ikat, the ancient art had nearly disappeared. While researching the textile, Mr. Morimoto met with elderly weavers who were among the few still practicing these ancient methods. His passion for the art form led him to relocate to Cambodia and work with these elder artisans to preserve these vanishing techniques. I started this project because I really wanted to recreate Cambodian textiles. In order to do that, I started raising silkworms and then plants for different pigments. I invited the weavers to join me, and I realized that we had formed a village. By looking now, you can't tell, but there was nothing here. I planted the seeds, and they grew to be a forest. Each of these plants have their own color, and we get our colors from the plants. A master of natural dyeing, Mr. Morimoto helped the community to restore the forest and revive natural techniques to produce dyes like boiling bark and leaves to create pigments to color the silk. I named this community Wisdom of the Forest. We learned traditional knowledge from the villagers, and we built a community making full use of these traditions, experiences, and techniques. It's like a school. I call it here, it's a life of the school. Kid can study the making the fabric, how to dye, how to tie, design. I feel I have raised these weavers just like I raised the trees. These weavers who grow up from seeds are now weaving wonderful textiles. Now they have the chance to work in here and they get, they get the breast hold ribbing and uh, to live and eating, yeah to get the salary. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I feel that they are happy. And uh, also, I'm happy too. <laughs> and now it's uh, like uh, I give to the next the generation to continue to the, this project. Like, uh, you know, this village is uh, my work. It's uh, like uh, drawing the picture. For me, it's like a save. I drink the, some the, <laughs> the landscape, the picture I draw in. It's a, it's a half the year now. <laughs>